You're watching Capital One Bowl Mania. Boise State, ranked 25th in the country and champions of the Mountain West, taking the field at Sam Boyd Stadium in the 2017 Las Vegas Bowl as part of Capital One Bowl Mania and waiting on the other side in Apple Green Unis. Mario Cristobal's Oregon Ducks. Cristobal just got the job a little over a week ago. He leads Oregon in as head coach for the first bowl yardage. He's seventh all time in career rushing. We're underway. Boise State won the toss and deferred, so they'll kick it off. Goes into the end zone. Athletic Oregon defense. Throwing a little screen to Ryan Wolpen. Wolpen gets a first down and is across the 45. That's a nice We'll see plenty of him. Special packages. He and Rippon will both be in the game at the same time. Wolpen has the ball for the second time, and he's just ripping through the duck defense for another first down. Wolpen side. The touch to Wilson. Wilson's got the corner. Wilson trying to stay in bounds, but he steps out inside the 15. The line of scrimmage. Oh. Oh. Now put him in the spin cycle, flip it out to Wolpen, and he tumbles into the end zone. Touchdown, Boise State. I don't, I, was that style points? I mean, it didn't really do anything. It was just like a, we have to live up to our reputation almost. Free snap, all four guys just kind of flip around, and then get the ball out to the receivers again you know I don't I don't know what this is to try to here we go here we go it's Vegas baby a little showbiz <laughs> right. a little entertainment sweetheart a little international champion Philip Fulmer at Tennessee second down and ten Rippins got a man out there it's monster in the secondary he's inside the 20 before he's finally dragged down by Amani and Boise State's in business again the home the red shirt freshman now at running back Rippin wants to throw instead. Rippin throwing it into traffic and it's intercepted. Arian Springs, a very poor decision by Rippin. And it's a turnover in the red zone and maybe that's a big target. A lot of speedy, shifty guys at receiver. Certainly guys can run, including that guy in wow. the backfield. And Tony Brooks James didn't hold on to it. The ball's loose. Let's see if they're going to call it a catch and say he never held on to it. The officials are saying fumble and giving Boise the ball, but I'm sure they'll look at it again. You know who's in the middle of it. Leighton Vanderish was the guy. Smart thing for the officials. Allowed it to be a catch and it could be considered a fumble. They can always review it. And there's Vanderish. The end zone is a recipe for trouble. <laughs> Epping an hour game and in this one. This one's on the money. Wilson's on his way. Rip into Wilson. Cedric Wilson. Touchdown. Absolutely perfect job here by Boise State. Taggart for the way it was handled, and they wanted Cristobal, but they haven't exactly come out. And another football on the ground, and Boise's all over it if they can corral it. And Boise State has knocked another one loose, and Tyson Maeva scooped it up, and the Broncos are threatening to turn this into a blowout. By the official. See if Hogarth has an extra yard in him. On the way, and it is no good, and Oregon comes up with a much needed stop. From 42, this one from 39. Kick on the way, and this one is true. The crystal ball era will turn out quite that well. It's quite too early to say. Into the middle, and it's picked off. Intercepted right over the middle. And the play is made by Jordan Happel, a redshirt freshman from Portland, Oregon. And I'll bet that felt good against the home state team. I think that says a lot about the respect he has for him. A lot of heat on Herbert. That looks like an interception. And it's going the other way. Looks like a pick six. And Keikala Kaniho. Touchdown, Boise State. Justin Herbert just throws this ball out into the flat. And the receiver, you know, he's, he's creating. He's, he's improvising. The receiver, Charles Nelson, goes downfield. Instead of cutting out, it's easy to look at Herbert and say, what's he doing? That is spectacular first half. Herbert, there is another big hit on the quarterback. 
Nobody open. Pressure coming. Leighton Van Der Esch again. And, you know, they, they try to block him. This gives you an idea of his athletic ability is watch how he's able to get in and go over top of the back who steps up. The back does a nice job of stepping up right there, submarines him, but instead of him just accepting that and using his hands, look at the athletic ability, up and over him, and then comes up with a sack. The snap, Cozart's in motion. Uh-oh. Oh, statue of Liberty working, and the Ducks have it, and Troy Dye keep his feet. That might be the break they needed. Troy Dye! I got your Statue of Liberty, and I'm taking it the other way. Touchdown, Oregon. This week, it's huge because whoever wins emerges more than likely with home field advantage. Rippin trying to get it back, and he's got his man. It's Wilson, Cedric Wilson inside the 10. Thomas Graham, the freshman. Beavers to try to get in the way of a defender. And also there remember the tie uh, timeouts are gone, and there's another interception. And now Oregon has an opportunity. Going the other way is number two, Tyree Robinson. He's on his way to the house. End to end, consecutive huge plays by the Oregon defense on consecutive drives, and the Ducks are back in this thing. Well, just when you talk. in 15 facing Rippon. Jelk's trying to apply some heat. Wilson sees the ball before the defender and goes and makes the play. Working on the Amador Lenore, and Wilson saw the ball coming and just showed that veteran savvy to get to it. And we just talked about the body control, the way he's able to read the ball. He comes back, the freshman, very least, try to force a field goal. Rippon. Lines his tight end, cutting underneath, staying on his feet, headed toward the pylon, touchdown Alec Dans! They gotta win some one-on-one -on -one battles to give Herbert a chance. Herbert looking, firing to the outside, Mitchell has it, he shakes off one guy before he's... He got to him and he thought, wow you're big, 6'6", 225. Herbert to the end zone again. Touchdown, Brendan Schooler. The former defensive back turned back wide receiver. He said his focus was just on this right now, so his Which means decision is <laughs> uncertain at the moment. At least that's a huge first down and a completion to the young receiver, C.T. Thomas. Second half when we get done here. Yeah, well, we will. The kid looked like a... Rolling bowling ball of butcher knives there. Cutting through another strong run from Boise State. Robert Mahone trying to play Georgia Tech. The game called off because of the hurricane. Ripping, throwing deep and lays it right in there to Wilson again. Let me tell you something. Those two, they, they are, it's like a telepathic connection on that route and that throw. Yeah, they've done, oh. it. They've done it all day. They've done it throughout the last few years. But you, you, you maybe haven't seen a ton of Cedric Wilson. It's a shame because he's one of the top receivers in the country. A tall guy at 6'3". Body control, this is about the ball. The placement of the ball away to the out. Exhorting that defense, show a little pride, which they certainly have all day. Look at the, there's the pirouette. Oh, move. now we're going oh, to a pirouette and a couple of dance steps. They scored off that pirouette move earlier. And there's the knockout punch. Wolfen goes in. For sure. But the real start of the... Cristobal era will be in the offseason how that work goes and how the Ducks respond what types of changes might be made as a result of this Herbert throwing it deep and Mitchell makes the catch and looked back like he was looking for somebody to come chase him but he gets down inside the 10 <laughs> gone away they, they keep competing Herbert firing to the end zone and this time it is Johnson with the catch or no, check that. That is 30 red with the catch, and he got it over the goal line. Well, I think that's why they get that benefit. That's why they're known as that team. Look, when Kellen Moore was at Boise State, they, they played Georgia in the Georgia Dome and beat them. They played for a good Virginia Tech team. 
targeted him 13 times, those 221 yards, a career high. And what a way to end what has been a terrific career for him. And Boise State, 13 seconds, will officially have its 11th win of the season. And Mario Cristobal will lose his debut as the Ducks' full-time head coach. 4-0 in the Las Vegas Bowl. This is home away from home for the fellas from the blue as Wilson and the guys get the win. 38-28, Molly McGrath is with the head coach, Brian Harson. Thank you so much, Reese. Coach, you're still uh, drying off after that ice bath. I'll let you celebrate really quick with family. Oh, thank you. A lot of injuries to your star offensive players, including yeah. Cedric Wilson, who made some key plays right. down the stretch. What did this game teach you about the toughness and resilience of your team? Well, it, it's, it's been that way all season long. It showed up again today and, you know, against a really good Oregon team. I'm just proud of our guys. We had some adversity hit us. They fought back. Nobody flinched. And guys stepped up and made big plays. Even we had a few down. But this is what our team's been about this entire year and our coaches just finishing, finding a way, and that's what we did today. Your defense didn't allow an offensive touchdown until the yeah. fourth quarter. What did that group do well? Well, yeah, we, we, uh, we spotted them a few from our offense there. Tremendous, tremendous throughout the entire game. Uh, that's an explosive offense, but our defense played great. They have all season long, and just proud of the way they came out here, the way they prepared themselves. Uh, it's been that way all year, and it was no different tonight. You lost your last three to Power 5 opponents. How important was this win in terms of the tradition of dominance that Boise State has? You know, it, it, the reason it was important is for these seniors and this team. Uh, there's a great vibe about this group. We're never going to be the same. 2017 is over now, but these guys deserve it. So it wasn't about any of that. It's about this group of guys that found a way to win a championship, win a bowl game, and finish the season like they started with that mindset at the beginning of the year. Congratulations on Thank that, you. Coach. Go Broncos! Yeah. Grace, back to you. And Molly, the Broncos did go an impressive performance against Oregon in a 38-28. That is our final score from Vegas. Remember, in live coverage in this game, the post-game trophy ceremony presented by Capital One. You can log on to ESPN3 for our entire ESPN ABC crew. Kirk Herbstreit, Molly McGrath, I'm Reese Davis saying so long from Las Vegas.